Hi guys, I have a fun little Valentine's Day project. Um, it's pretty simple and um, pretty cheap. Um, I went to AC More last week. I bought some of these um, wood boxes, little trinket boxes, um, just basically because I wanted to just use it as a um, block. But if you ever looked at the price of um, just like the, the wood blocks, they're small and they're pretty expensive for what you're getting. I think it's kind of silly. So these little trinket boxes, um, and I'm going to make a little love um, sign to hang out for Valentine's Day because I actually don't have a whole lot of Valentine's Day um, decorations. Um, so with this project, you're going to need some wood blocks, um, some craft paint and brushes, um, Maj Paj, and I am going to use Cosmo Cricut's um, Hay Sugar line. And I just love these cute little um, prints and whatnot. But we're going to use this, and I actually have um, the punch out letters, and we'll be using those too. Um, so you'll need some boxes. Um, I've got a couple here that I've already kind of got started with, and then um, I got a wood heart and this. So basically, it's going to kind of go together something like this um, with our letters um, on top. So something like this, just fun and cute and easy to do. So I've already started to paint my boxes. I chose to do it in black because I inked um, my letters, the edges in black. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so um, I painted around the edges of the boxes with black and I just used um, a black craft paint and um, I put it on real thin so it actually kind of looks like a stain which I really like because I'm actually out of my black stain um, and normally I actually probably would have just stained them anyway but so I'm just going to paint this real quick um, show you how quick and easy it really is like I just throw some paint on and just take a brush to it. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my little son is knocking at my craft room door right now. And so I'm going to try to hurry up here because he just got up from a nap and he's ready to play. And of course, mommy just now decides that she's going to get busy and try to do something. And isn't that how it always works out? <laughs> All right, so you just paint around. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, and if you want to make it a little more perfect, you can paint the back too. Um, I may do that later on down the road, but um, probably not actually, because <laughs> the back nobody's going to see anyways. But So I'm just quickly going around the edge. I'm going a little bit onto the top, because when I cut the paper that I'm going to Maj Podge on the top, I'm going to leave a little bit of the edge showing. Um, just add some more. I'm just putting a little dollop of paint on there and then just spreading it around. I'm not being fancy. I'm not being neat. Um, just throwing it on there. Um, just go all the way around. Make sure you kind of get, there's, my boxes have like a little ridge on the top. Um, so I'm just making sure I get all the way around in those. Um, all right. So then that's all the boxes painted. Um, and I already went ahead and I painted the block and I painted around the heart. Um, so now we just need to cover our boxes and the heart with the paper that we want. And... Then we're just going to mod podge our letters on, glue all the boxes together, and it's going to be done. It's a real, real simple project. All right. So the letters are all different patterned. So um, I was kind of going through, and it's hard. Like, I want the letters to stand out. So the pattern papers don't really allow for that. So I think what we're gonna, I'm going to use is um, this one, and the color doesn't really show up that well on here, but it's a nice little um, maroon color. So I'm going to put that on because I think that these ones will stand out a little better against this more solid color. But then the heart, I'm going to do a pattern paper. So let's just get it cut for the boxes first. And let's see if I have a ruler nearby.
This will work. Oh, here's a ruler. Excellent. So I got a ruler. So I'm just going to measure. Like I said, I have a little bit of a lip here. So I'm just going to kind of measure that real quick. And it's... One. I'm going to cut my paper. It's like two and... And like... I'm going to cut mine to like two and a quarter. And I think that'll be a good size, two and a quarter. So just measure your box however um, you want it to go on. And I'm going to do four and a quarter. All right, so I'm just going to get my paper trimmer out. So I get stuff out of the way. I'm going to do four and a quarter first. painted it already it's <laughs> kind of hard to see I'm actually going to take just a little bit off there All right. and then two and a quarter so let's see how that goes on the box Looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably actually going to put it with that edge up there. So let's see. Can we get this? Oh, perfect. It's even a bit big. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. Get my ruler back out. I'm just going to measure. Oh, that's centimeters. That'll throw me off. So, I think I'm going to do three. It's like three and an eighth. I'm going to do three. Three by three. So, let's do three. Three. this down like that. Okay, so there's that one and that one, and then we just need the one for the E. And I like the um, stuff in the corner, so I'm actually going to cut another edge here. Oh, that's my son wanting to get in the room. <laughs> All right. Cut that edge off first. And then I'm afraid to go too. We're going to go three and three. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that was off camera. So I'm just doing three by three. Okay. So I'm going to have something like this, and then this, and this one. Put that there. So then that's going to go on there. So now we need to do our heart. 
Um, and the reason why I cut everything out first is because, like, I'm going to mosh podge it all on, so I'd rather do it all at, at one time. So let's see what paper. I actually kind of like this one. I wonder if we can get that kind of perfect in there. We'll see what this looks like. I'm going to just kind of trace around it and then I know I'm going to need to cut to make it a little bit smaller like that's going to be too big. I just did not get scissors handy. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to like that, actually. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. I don't think I'm going to like the way that looks once I cut it out. being very good about <laughs> cutting this. So now I'm just going to cut in a little bit. So I don't like that. <laughs> Maybe doing this. Just some. Um, I like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it this way. I like this better. All right. All right. So I like this paper better. I'm just gonna kind of cut out what I need here. side there. Get all this junk out of the way. All right. I'm just going to actually just to make sure that they're, I guess it doesn't matter. Just so I kind of have the basic shape. Just gonna cut in. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. And that noise would be my husband <laughs> outside. All right, I like this much better. All right, so I'm gonna just fix this here a little bit. And I think this a little bit. All right, let's see how that looks on there. Oh, I like that. Okay. So now I'm going to ink the edges of the heart and our other background pieces. Um, I'm just using um, Tim Holtz Distressed Ink in Black Soot. And I'm using my little pad because I couldn't find the... My craft room is a crazy, crazy mess. So I don't have my handle to attach, but no big deal works just as well this way. Okay. And that's done. And 
then I'm just going to go around the edges of these pages. Whoops. Okay, two more to do. Just ink around the edges real easy, real quick. last piece and then we can mod podge all right so we got that on and now we're gonna mod podge so start with this piece and that's going to go up through there. So I'm going to use um, a glossy mosh podge. It doesn't really matter what you use. I have both matte finish and glossy. I just kind of chose to use glossy this time. I'm just going to use a fan brush. Just going to dip it in and just going to now, to start this, I'm just going to put it over where we're going to put the paper down. Um, and then once it dries, um, I'll go back through and mosh posh over the whole thing. So, I'm just going to set that up there. Ooh, it doesn't want to slide very well. And you just want to make sure it's down real good around the edges. Ooh, now it'll slide. <laughs> Just making sure all my edges are down. Okay, so all the edges are down. I'm just going to set that aside and now we'll move on to the next one. Just making sure I get real close to the edge. I know I cut it a little short, shorter than the edges, but that's okay. So I want to make sure I've got plenty on there so my paper will be down all the way. out of the way here. Make sure it's real nice and snug all the way around. Okay. And then for the last one. More Mod Polish. 
And if you want, you can just mod podge the back of your paper and then put it down. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. And now we'll mosh posh the heart. Oops. Just making sure I get a good amount and make sure it is good around the edges. And there's our heart. So now we need to attach our heart to our block. Just trying to figure out how I kind of want it to sit. Something like that. Okay. So I have some wood glue that I bought. This is the first time I used it. Ooh. That went a little quick, easier than I thought it would. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put some wood glue back here. I don't really know how much. I've never done this before, so. so I'm just getting close to that edge. way too much on. <laughs> okay. and I'm just going to set that off to the side so it has time to adhere. So again, I just use some um, wood glue. All right. So... Now we can start adhering our letters. So my L is actually bigger than my box, which, I mean, that's no big deal for me. I don't care. So I don't need so much around. So I'm just going to. Sorry, I'm just double checking to make sure I have enough on it. Okay. got a little extra that came out around the edges not a big deal I'm just gonna wipe it and 
and it'll all be okay because I'm just going to cover the whole thing with glossy Mod Podge anyway. All right, so the L is on. Now we want to do our V. Now, before we um, mosh posh over the entire box, you want to let it dry um, real good because otherwise it'll start to bubble up and that is not good. So I'm actually going to let it dry overnight and then I'll put the mosh posh over the entire box. the B, and finally the E. Sorry, <laughs> there we go off the camera again. So there's the E. So right now we have this. And we will um, mosh posh over everything and then we can glue all the boxes together with our wood glue and then we'll be done. So um, stay tuned because um, we'll finish that up then. Okay, so now we're just mosh podging our boxes. Um, I'm using um, just a, a different kind of brush, a little sturdier brush to go around the edges where it's just wood. And then I'm going to use the fan brush to go over where we put the letters on the front. So I'm just going all the way around. And I've already done the other boxes, so I just saved this one um, to do last. Okay, so now that's all around the edge. And so now I'm going to use the fan brush to go across the top. Kind of, kind of go in different directions just to make sure you get it all around your letter because it sticks up a little bit. But, and then I'm just kind of making it all go one direction, all the strokes, because if you've worked with Mod Podge before, you know that it can, your brush strokes tend to show. So I want them just to be kind of consistent. All right, so when you're all done, you'll get something that looks like this. And then you have to let them dry and then you can glue all the boxes together. Um, and I can, I'll show you what that looks like in the end once all these are dry.
Um, but I think it's going to, I'm going to do something along the lines of that. Um, maybe have this one stick out a little bit. Um, not quite sure, actually. But we'll see. Something along the lines like that. So, all right, guys, we'll show you what it looks like when I'm all, when it's all dry and ready to go. All right, guys, just to finish it up, all you have to do is use some wood glue. Um, I put it on the inside here and then put these two pieces together. And then I use the, the heart and the block. I just put it all over the inside here. And then I also put it on the, the front of the heart here where it was going to overlap. And then I just let those dry. And I'm going to actually leave them as two separate pieces um, so that if I want to put them on the shelf, I can kind of angle them like this if I want to, or I can put them straight on like this. So, so this is what the finished thing looks like. Sorry, it got a little glare there. There we go. Um, and I can just put it on my shelf, and I have a nice little Valentine's Day decoration. And it was pretty simple and quick and pretty cheap. Like I said, I, I just bought the boxes at AC Moore, um, like a buck a piece. And sometimes you can get them on sale. The wood heart and the block were all less than a dollar. And the paper I had and the paint I had, everything else I had. So I hope you guys like this and I hope you make something fun like this too. Thanks for watching.